Hey, this is Amy, and what I want to do is um, show you in this video how to format a references page in APA 6th edition in Google Docs. So what I have in my other tab here, this is actually three citations that I got with a citation generator, and uh, they are not formatted yet. They're just sitting here, and um, what I'm going to do is actually look at the Purdue OWL APA page um, to see what this page should look like. So this is actually the main APA landing page, and um, my favorite thing on here is the APA sample paper. I'm going to open that larger so we can see it. Just scroll down through the text of the paper to the references page. And what you can see on the references page here is that um, everything is in Times New Roman font. It is all double spaced throughout. The font is size 12, and um, Oh, the references are listed in alphabetical order on the page, and then the um, first line of each reference is aligned to the left, and any subsequent lines are indented, and that's called a hanging indent. So um, Microsoft Word actually has a button for that, but with Google Docs, you're going to do it a little bit differently. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is highlight everything and go up here to Font, change that to Times New Roman, and then Size 12. Then I can come here and do the double space. Um, what I'm going to do for the hanging indent, I'm going to leave it highlighted and look at this uh, couple of arrow uh, things right here. Um, just click on that bottom one, it's going to grab them both and pull it over to 0 0.50. Let go of the cursor and then um, you're going to grab the top rectangle thing and pull it back toward the left to 0 and it will have the alignment correct. A um, couple of things we need to do. Well, first of all, we need these to be in alphabetical order, so we can put them there. So I'm just grabbing them and dragging them, and then moving the next one down. Um, you do want to, like this should be a lowercase, that's just grammatical. So what I typically do, the way I do my citations, is actually look at one thing on, on all the citations at once. So I was just looking at the journal um, titles, and those all look good. Um, with APA, and let's go back to the sample paper here, um, there's a couple things to note. Uh, one, when you are citing author names, you just have their first and middle initial. They don't give a middle initial, just put the first initial. Um, but you're not going to have their actual names. You're not going to have any um, credentials such as PhD or MD. Oops. Um, <laughs> I can go ahead and close that. Um, and I don't have those. So that actually looks good on here. Uh, first, look at this first one here on this sample paper. Um, we have Butler coming after Cummings. Even though, uh, for example, let's see, Bullock is um, the last one listed on this particular citation. Uh, that is actually correct in APA format. They did put themselves in that order for a reason. So go ahead and just leave them in that order. Um, another thing to note with APA is journal t article titles. The first letter is capitalized and um, the rest of the words are not, uh, exception for something like this, where it's an um, acronym or an initialism or something like that. And then after any um, colon, the subtitle would um, be capitalized. And then, of course, if there is a proper noun, that would remain capitalized. I've got a <laughs> MLA paper open in my other tab. Um, I'm sorry. Uh, but looking at this, you can see that is not happening here, so you would want to go through and change that. And I don't think that um, Google Docs has the same, Word has a button that will do it for you, which is kind of nice. But um, we're going to leave that M capitalized because it's the first letter of a subtitle. This one looks good. I see a space here. Take that out. Um, and this one looks good. The last one looks good, too. Um, Okay, so we're going to go up here and we're going to type in references. Oops, go ahead and scooch that to the center. Obviously, this would be part of a larger paper and everything, but in terms of getting the format for this particular page correct, we are in good shape. Um, so hopefully that was helpful, and um, you know, if you have questions, um, just go ahead and reach out to a librarian um, and let us know what we can do to help.